Think you know The Walking Dead? Even the most die-hard zombie head doesn't know everything that goes on during filming of the hit series. But there's plenty. Here are some truly bizarre things that happened on the set of The Walking Dead. Merle's Gone Wild these days, Walking Dead stars like Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus are household names. But during the filming of season one, Atlanta residents were unaware of the soon-to-be global television phenomenon taking place in their backyards. You might remember the scene in the show's second episode, Guts, where Merle, played by Michael Rooker, perches on a roof with a sniper rifle and uses the walkers in the street below as target practice. When one Atlanta resident saw actor Rooker seemingly firing a rifle from the roof of a local building, they understand called the fuzz. Luckily, the production crew was able to clear things up with the local police and SWAT team, and no one was hurt. To be fair, you'd probably freak out too if you saw Merle brandishing a weapon in your hometown. It's zombie blood, officer! We've all had rough days at the office, but the cast of The Walking Dead regularly ends their workday covered in blood and zombie guts. Lauren Cohan, who plays Maggie on the hit show, told Jimmy Kimmel about an awkward encounter she had getting pulled over by a cop after leaving the set one day while she was covered in blood and gore. Thinking quickly, Cohan made sure to have her script visible in the hopes that the officer was a fan. Johnny Law was more interested in scoring a date than asking why she looked like Carrie. Well, lady, I don't see a ring on your finger. Does that mean you're single? And I was like, yeah, but um, and I so wished I just had the ticket. <laughs> Stephen Young's little friend. It isn't just zombies that The Walking Dead cast encounters deep in the woods. Glenn himself, Stephen Young, told Conan O'Brien about the time he ended a day filming in nature with a new little pal. I was doing the regular tick check, and then I went to go into the shower, and then I pulled my pants down, and uh, I had a guy on my guy. When he finally was able to remove the tick from his, uh, little Steven, he decided to take a lesson from The Walking Dead and kill it with fire. I killed it with a flamethrower lighter. Flamethrower? Lighter. Yep. Bug spray. Don't leave home without it. A tree falls in Sonoya. The Walking Dead may have millions of fans, but some residents in the town of Sonoya, Georgia, where the show films, are tired of living in Walker Central. You walk along and people tell you you're not allowed to stop and take pictures and you want to say, well, this is my community. One resident expressed his frustration to Good Morning America after show producers called the police on him for trimming his trees. Out of there saying, I need to stop. They're filming. Uh, I said, well, no. You just carry your happy butt right behind the wall. While his opinion almost certainly isn't shared by everyone in the town, it's not too surprising he'd feel this way. However, many residents actually receive $400 a month for their inconvenience, as well as incentive to stay quiet about anything they see that might spoil the storyline. 400 bucks a month? Just to deal with a bunch of Hollywood zombies wandering around the neighborhood? There are worse ways to make a living. Like being a TV clown, for instance. Hey, Bobo, wanna play a game? Okay, look up! Look down! Now look at Mr. Frying Pan! Nighty Night Glenn like us, the cast and crew of The Walking Dead miss Glenn and actor Stephen Yun, following Glenn's on-screen death. What? Glenn died? I'm really far behind, oops. Anyway, The Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman shared one of his favorite memories of Stephen with Entertainment Weekly. It seems that on Yun's first day of filming, the actor had to run back and forth to grab Rick's hat from a tank. He hadn't eaten anything all day and blacked out. Kirkman says Yun was a good sport about it, but the cast still give him grief. Talk about an embarrassing first day on the job. The Puking Dead Fans loved when Sonequa Martin-Green, aka Sasha, saved the hilltop with just Maggie by her side. But as it turns out, filming of the gruesome scene was particularly difficult for the actress, as she was hit with a nasty stomach bug during filming. As Martin-Green told Yahoo, she puked right when the crew arrived to base camp for filming, and continued to empty the contents of her stomach every 30 minutes throughout the day and night. But just like Sasha, Sonequa Martin-Green is one tough customer, and fought through her illness so the shoot wouldn't have to be rescheduled. The cast and crew had Martin-Green's back, having a bucket at the ready to catch her up chuck. The actress nicely gave her colleagues warnings before the vomit tsunami happened, announcing, I've got 15 minutes before I throw up again. Now I feel okay, let's get it done. Eugene's mullet almost melted. It's not easy to get a mullet as sweet as Eugene's, and actor Josh McDermott almost lost his business in the front party in the back locked during the filming of the season 5 episode Self Help. As Lauren Cohan told Entertainment Weekly, the bus fire during the episode really turned up the heat. When the six of us were on the road and the um, bus went up in flames, and it, the flames were much 
bigger than we thought they were going to be. The heat from the flames caused everyone's backsides to get toasty, and the heavy rains caused poor Josh McDermott's hair dye to start to melt. Cohan explains that the combination of having a burned bum and the heavy rains washing out Jess's sweet mullet made her totally lose it. Like the fact that like my my whole backside was literally like getting scorched, and Josh's was as well, and the rain started coming down and melting the hair dye out of his hair, and I just started laughing. Kohan revealed that she had a hard time keeping a straight face during filming, and nudged McDermott to keep him away from the crazy inferno. The moment is captured in the episode, and now fans know the real story. But if you watch the episode, you can actually see us just trying to like, hold it together, and it's in the episode, but you'd only know if you were hearing the story, which you're hearing right now. So if you want to get Eugene's luxurious mullet, it's probably a good idea to stay out of the rain and away from open flames. Pranks for the memories The Walking Dead can be a pretty heavy show, so it's no wonder that the cast needs to blow off some steam from time to time. Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus have an ongoing prank war that has gone to some pretty crazy places. As Reedus told James Corden, one prank involved Norman placing an 80s-style airbrushed custom Daryl Dixon license plate on Lincoln's car. Right. And he never noticed. So, so months he drove around with this on his car. Right. Before Lincoln even had time to retaliate, Reedus pulled another prank that featured some serious foul play. He walked into his trailer and I filled it full of chickens. Yeah. <laughs> You filled yeah. this trailer full of chickens. Yeah. And because pranks are the universal language, Reedus pulled another fast one on Lincoln during a promotional event for The Walking Dead's fourth season in Japan. Thank you very much. Do you want to practice your lines I taught you? Is that right? It's great to be here. Turns out that the phrases Lincoln used with his Japanese hosts didn't mean thank you as Reedus told him. It means where's the toilet? Then there was the time Reedus filled the air conditioner in Lincoln's car with glitter. After that glitter bomb, the war was on. Reedus revealed on Talking Dead that Lincoln's prank revenge involved a sex doll and Daryl's motorcycle. Andy took my motorcycle and put it on that boat and put a sex doll on it and then pushed it out in the middle of the lake. <laughs> that was the last one, so he's due. Naked Norman Daryl in his birthday suit might be a dream come true for Daryl and Carol Shippers, but on the Walking Dead set, Norman Reedus dropping trowel is a regular occurrence. When Reedus was late to set one day after his alarm clock failed to go off, the crew had to improvise by putting a stunt double in Daryl's outfit on a motorcycle. Reedus wanted to be in the scene, so he rushed to set and stripped off his clothes on the way. I was late. Um, they, put, they put one of the um, crew members in my outfit, and I ran up and got naked, and I was like, bring that bike back here. Of course, Reedus had to bear all for the season 7 episode, where Daryl is held prisoner by Negan and forced to scarf down dog food. But the actor clearly isn't afraid of the full Monty, as he told TV Guide. I walked in and wardrobe was like, do you want to wear a sock over your junk? And I was like, nope. I just went in, naked. I sat down naked in front of the whole camera crew, and everyone's head just moved to the right. It was like they were watching Wimbledon. Norman Reedus has Rick's beard. Norman Reedus is known for his pranks and bizarre on-set antics, but this one just might be the strangest. It turns out the actor is also hoarding Andrew Lincoln's beard. But I actually have Andrew's beard in my refrigerator. As he revealed to Entertainment Tonight, Reedus kept Lincoln's manly scruff from the memorable Season 5 episode where Rick shaves. If that wasn't proof enough, Reedus shared a photo of Rick's grey facial hair on Instagram. By now you may be asking, why would Norman Reedus save Andrew Lincoln's beard in a plastic bag? Your guess is as good as his. Is, but it probably has to do with true bromance. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool.